Hello YouTube. I uh, wanted to take a minute and show you this uh, little project I'm on. Uh, it's kind of different. Uh, what I'm doing is a guy brought me a truck and it used to be a uh, a box truck. Uh, so anyway he wants to make it into a dump truck and he done a lot of this stuff himself. Uh, well he got the truck ready for me to build a dump bed is what he done and he's got uh, well let me show you the truck first it's a 4500 TMC and he took the box off of it for temporary right now he's got this big piece of fiberglass covered plywood over it and uh, so anyway uh, his name's Austin he Austin came and he wanted me to build him a flatbed for this truck and so we agreed to it and then uh, before we could get the flatbed built on it he decided he wanted to make it a dump bed so of course that changes everything and so forth but here's what I've done now I've looked on YouTube and I've I've seen there's a, a lot of videos on uh, building a bed and dump beds but they were all of them scissor type and uh, so I, I pretty much just had to come up with my own stuff here I've never built a dump trailer or dump truck but anyway uh, I cut the frame out the very end. He didn't want any overhang. <coughs> and I made uh, an inch and a half pin. And back in here there's a piece of 7 eighths inch thick, 2 and a half by 2 and a half inch square cut into the frame on both sides. You can see it there. And, uh, that carries the pin through the frame on both sides. The pin's an inch and a half. I did turn ten thousandths off of it just to make it easy to slip, slip through there because I drilled the holes inch and a half. But uh, then hinged it like that on both sides. And then uh, on these rails, when it was just going to be a flatbed, a uh, four inch C channel was all I needed to sit on top of the frame. But then uh, I had already ordered material and we changed to a dump bed. So I ended up changing, uh, ordered some more C channel. And I put them back to back to full length. It's 14 foot total. And uh, stitch welded them uh, better than 50%. So there's a double rail all the way up through here on both sides. Then on the front here, now this is something I've never seen. Uh, I'm guessing it's just a one-way cylinder. It's only got one line goes in it. Goes in way right up in there where the ram comes out. And it pushes straight down on the on the truck. I got I went right on top of one of the other cross members with five eighths by four flat bar, shimmed it in in between. And then there's a one inch pin that goes through there. I'll get to the other side. Yeah, there's a lot of glare. I can really see a little better on this side. But down in there, there's a one inch pin in these uh, brackets that, that attaches right to the ram. And then the, the uh, cylinder itself 
is on this bracket which is mounted to the actual bed but uh, yeah it's like the cylinders upside down in my world uh, and like I said it's a uh, cylinder for a dump trailer but anyhow that's uh, that's what's going on and there's the bed uh, just the beginning of it the frame uh, I just got the front and side back and sides on the cross members I just got them in at, at four foot it's going to have diamond plate eighth inch thick with uh, joists at every 12 inches and I will have to uh, make an access hole for this fifth wheel it'll be two foot square and it'll most likely bolt down with four quarter twenty bolts or something nothing major just to, just to cover so that's all uh, it's kind of been a long drawn out job there's a lot of welding on it a lot of welding all up that rail both sides top and bottom This all took the longest, just figuring out what to do, how to do, and if it'll work. Now, I was going to test this with, a, with an air compressor. It gets a hydraulic pump and battery, just like on them dump trailers. And I was going to test it with the air compressor. I took the plug out of the bottom of the cylinder, and oil started coming out of it, so I put the plug back in. He'll just have to rig it up and, uh, uh, you know, plumb his own pump and hoist and all that. So, anyhow, that's it. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate a thumbs up, and uh, if you'd like to, subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.